Today we're leaving San Juan to show you the top places and hidden gems on the north, west, and southern side of Puerto Rico. We're going to be joined by a native tour guide and YouTuber to get that local perspective. Watch this video before you plan your next trip to Puerto Rico. Trust me. You're going to love this itinerary we created for you because some of these places are going to take your breath away. So this area here is giving me these like Rio de Janeiro vibes. It's so colorful. Uh, how did this come to be? What they want to do is revitalize the community. They're painting the communities with warm tropical colors and now they brought it to life and it's basically a touristy stop. This is so amazing because you can see how close we are to the water. You can just see that turquoise sea of Aguadilla. And then we have what feels like a music video, like you should shoot a music video here. If it hasn't been done yet, shoot something here. I was lucky enough to meet some of the locals and I talked to them and they explained me how was life here and how basically all of these houses are passed down family by family and all the members of the community. This cat's got the life. <laughs> Hi buddy. Hi. Wanna be in our video? How long did it take them to like paint everything here? I say about two, three weeks. Two, three weeks? Yeah, but now they're gonna come again because they're gonna renew do the whole, all the paintings. This is the lighthouse. This ruin was when Spain tried to invade Puerto Rico. This is where they fought them. Well, Christian, if you couldn't tell, we're in Puerto Rico. Oh yeah. If the almost 50 flags we saw we've already yeah. passed by didn't give it to you. Can I take a picture with you? Sure. Okay, <laughs> escape your fans. I cannot yeah. escape anywhere, even in the jungle here. <laughs> My horrible reputation back home. <laughs> I love this ladder. All right, this looks pretty sturdy, I think, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it actually shakes it a little is. bit. Hey, we always gotta get the coffee in here. <laughs> Not even a drop. I'm just like blown away by this view. Oh my God. I'll wait till we get to the middle part. So this was built by the Spanish in the uh, late 1800s, but then when the United States came and invaded Puerto Rico and they took over, they took over everything from the railroad companies in the island. So they wanted to build this into a railroad tracks, but it was later scrapped and turned into this beautiful bridge. I've gone zip lining in Hawaii and yes. Costa Rica. I just feel like I'm on a zip line right now going through the jungle. This is absolutely incredible. Like my jaw dropped when I saw the ocean there. I'm like, oh my goodness. You want your jaw to drop even more? Look straight down. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, just five minutes from that bridge, and the drive down here alone is worth coming for. But what we're about to see is gonna make it a little more special. The beach here is incredible, the views are incredible. We have this old ruin from the Spanish time here, right? Yes, exactly. It was used as an aduana or like a port of entry. There's also a lot of folklore around this part that the most famous pirate, El Pirata Cofresi, used this place and a lot of the caves around this surrounding area as a high point. I have not wanted to have a drink this bad in so long. This place makes me want to just enjoy life, like just enjoy Puerto Rico. That's why they say the Puerto Ricans like to drink. Team Adriana living her best life down there. into this epic Instagram spot and you're telling me that this used to be abandoned here. Yes, exactly. So everything you saw here, I would say maybe in the 70s, it was, if I'm not mistaken, a discotheque and a restaurant. After that, it was completely abandoned. It said abandoned, nasty, criminality. It was really sketchy place. But as everything as the Puerto Ricans do, we came together as a community and they brought muralists, they cleaned it up, they completely remodeled everything. You know what I love about this? I have no idea what the heck is through that tunnel. You're just, just into the abyss here. This is what it used to be. It was a train tunnel. The original plans and the inauguration in 1906. So it was completely just left to sit and rot, honestly. You know it would be a cruel joke if you had the sound of an incoming train and just played it really loudly for people who didn't know what this was? Yeah. I had friends yeah. that used to do underground parties inside of here. I feel like we should be on some kind of like one of those little kid rides. <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty neat. Okay, I see, I see some of the graffiti. Yeah, exactly. You can see a little bit of it. And then you come out 
speaking of the you ocean. Have amazing views. You drive 25 minutes away from San Juan, yeah. and it basically turns into a jungle. You're gonna see so many mountains. You're gonna see beaches. You can go five minute drive from a beach to a river yeah. to the mountains. It's that diverse. The secret beach, the end. Wow. This is it, man. This yeah. is the view. It's so close, about three hours from New York City, and yet I don't think it's on the average tourist radar. You, yeah. you think that's a shame? Even the food, the culture, the music, everything here, I feel it's completely underrated. We've been showing the world, we've been here, we've been screaming it, but we still feel like we're underappreciated more than anything. Most important part of any boat trip, cooler full of alcohol and a little water. This feels good, man. Paradise. <laughs> this is Cayo Caracoles. I hope you guys enjoy it. These are like those little juice packs you would drink as a kid, but the adult version of it. This really does remind me of like snorkeling in the Florida Keys. I did that once. And at a fraction of the cost that you would pay in the Florida Keys, that's an expensive place. Oof. <laughs> and it's really iconic even when i was a little kid my parents had a boat and almost every weekend we would come here and we would stay the whole weekend just from key hopping from little key to another one and that little ranch over there i used to jump from down there it was such an amazing time this is such a hidden gem for locals and i know i'm not a, not a lot of tourists know about it my girlfriend's actually real <laughs> ben does in fact have a girlfriend <laughs> although she's drowning him <laughs> <laughs> We're walking on Mars right now. Yep, basically. And you said this is millions of years old, this formation. Yes. Right there, as you can see, that's the entrance of Cueva del Indio. It's a little bit tough, but we're gonna get you inside of there so you can see how we do it. Right here, it was a filming location for Pirates of the Caribbean, if I'm not mistaken, the fourth installment of the movie. Totally get a pirate vibe here. I can just see that ship sailing yo -hoy, through. Yo -hoy. <laughs> Good advice, definitely wear closed-toed shoes. Do not wear flip-flops up here. You will regret it. We look down because I want to surprise you with the best view of the whole Arecibo. So, Bar, you have to look down. I want you. I don't want you to look that way. Okay, I'm not looking. Keep I'm coming looking. this way. Keep coming. Look at this view. Oh my God! Wow, <laughs> that's like arch after arch after arch, beach, 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 and Christopher Columbus. Yep. Fun fact about that statue that almost nobody likes <laughs> is that it's bigger than the Statue of Liberty. I'm a little too claustrophobic to go in the cave, but Tongo's gonna show you how to do it. This is a little bit of a dangerous place. So if you're not with a guided tour like the ones I give, I don't wanna shameless plug myself, but you need somebody to do it, or if you do it, you have to know how to at least rock climb the basics and hold yourself against the walls. And you sit down right here. And pull yourself, pull yourself with that hand. There you go. And you can see here a natural jacuzzi. Look at the water, how clear it is. Look at how many petroglyphs there are in all of this wall. They say it's over 200 to 500 different petroglyphs already certificated and authenticated. Please do not do this. A lot of people come here, graffiti, make their own stuff. Please do not do that. We want to conserve our history. This is outer, outer worldly, I swear. Boat Beach. This is the one thing on this video that's really famous, but I feel like we'd be doing our viewers a disservice if we didn't show this for them to visit in 2022. And yeah, exactly, since this is a really historic and famous beach, but it's not over high because the water's completely blue and clear. The day is perfect. Everybody's having fun and enjoying the sun. I mean, people can just jump in the water here whenever they want. Just like that, baby. <laughs> it normally takes me like 10 minutes to jump in the water. No, it's so nice that I'm like, just like, let's do it. <laughs> Definitely one of the nicest beaches in Puerto Rico. Just for the day, if you're a tourist, easy parking and I mean, look at it.
This ice cream is like melting before my eyes. I gotta eat this thing fast. It's dripping everywhere. The play here is you get your ice cream and then you walk around the plaza here. This is absolutely a beautiful city and yes. I never really thought of Ponce as a spot that I wanted to visit until you told me about it. And I don't think it gets anywhere near the attention of let's say old San Juan, which yes. is like the big tourist hub. That but to true. me, this looks equally as beautiful. Yes. A lot of the Spanish colonial influence on the city. This is a really old city too, you know? And most of the buildings you have here are Honestly, 1800s, early 1900s. You go walking around, sightseeing all of the architecture around the Ponce Square. You get Art Deco buildings, you get colonial buildings, you get weird variations that are just the perfect point for a walking tour and just admire the architecture and the history of the town. Literally, like an Andy Warhol museum for free that you can just walk through the lobby. This is so cool. <laughs> I feel like we're in Scarface right now. <laughs> it's kind of like a museum meets a bar meets a it's hotel. A music, it's a music video. No, I don't know. If you want a quick diversion when you're in Isabella, a little bonus, check out the Paseo Tablado de Isabella. It's basically a boardwalk that you have this direct view of the ocean. And this isn't like your typical view. This is actually really nice. So it's a little bit of an adventure if you go to the middle and climb up, but totally worth it for some pictures. Very cool spot and excellent conditions for surfing. And the legend says that every time you say, Jacinto, bring the cow, that the water comes up. How close is one willing to get to the edge? Okay, here we go. Jacinto! <laughs> Check out our Puerto Rico playlist linked here. And if you want to book a tour with Christian, link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Until next time.